Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. For those of you returning, welcome back. And for those of you that are new, hi, my name is Erica. I'm a homeschooling, homemaking mama of five. I would love if you subscribe and join my YouTube family. Today we got a clean with me video. Okay y'all, so here is a Dollar Tree haul. Dollar Tree and Michaels. My four year old is turning five next week, but we're having a birthday party on Saturday. I don't normally do a lot for birthday parties as far as decorations go. We just focus more on whatever we're doing or, but you know, and, and the present and the, the food. But honestly, when I went to the Dollar Tree to look for ornaments for him to paint, I found these and he loves Legos. And for a dollar, my goodness, why not? So they have these little Lego, I'm sure they're just supposed to be a generic thing, but they look like Legos, tablecloth. They even have the candles. Y'all don't underestimate the Dollar Tree. Oh. Happy birthday, son. You know, and obviously everything was a dollar. And my daughter found these and because Halloween is always in my heart, y'all. Look at these. I figured they go great in my bathroom at some point. Then I got some of this stuff right here. This was my daughter's, just nail polish remover. Whoops. Carpet cleaner for my rugs. I got this to try in my bathroom. I have this spot right in front of my shower and it's like rust or orange and I just I can't bleach and I can't do anything. A spray bottle for my daughter for her cat. Let's see. These little containers are again at the Dollar Tree. Two of them for a dollar. For my husband to take his lunch to work. Lunch tour. Yeah, that's right. And then I got these for Christmas dinner. I have a ton of plain white ones, but I thought, again, for a dollar, why not? Because we, I host Christmas at my house. And then I got these little cute, well, no, nope, those are batteries. These little cute things for my Christmas town, just little pieces to add. Um, these for cookies and stuff. I'm always looking for cute little tins to put my stuff in at Christmas. Now this stuff right here I got at Michael's. Joe loves to paint and for his birthday he loves Christmas too. He wanted to do an ornament party where we paint ornaments and stuff. So we got a couple of these. They were all like half off so they ended up being like two dollars. Then I got these little bird houses. Paint brushes. Some paint. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree too. And then let's see what else. Oh, and then I got the gingerbread house too at Michael's. And that was it for my. Oh, yeah, these paints too. I got all these little paints. I always good to have around anyway. Got those at Michael's. And then I got these at the Dollar Tree for the kids at the birthday party to. Switch it. Oh my goodness, doll. This is super cute. <laughs> I know it's just a little mini dustpan. But my daughter got it for her closet to sweep up kitty litter and stuff. And that is it. My husband had been complaining for a while that he couldn't see the TV on during the day because of the glare from the window. So I bought these blackout curtains I found at Sam's Club. I think they were about $25. I know blackout curtains are fairly expensive. So I hadn't bought any before because I knew my daughter's cat would probably scratch them up. So I found these and put them up. And they're actually really nice. I was having issues with my curtain rod. It kept falling down on me but I eventually got it up. I think it's just a little bit too small for that window. But as you can see, I, it was so dark in here, I had to turn the lights on. I'm just tidying up a little bit of laundry that was scattered out. It's all clean. I don't know how it got knocked on the floor. I think my, my two younger boys were wrestling. I know obviously I have the speed up button on here, but my kitchen, my, my house really wasn't that bad. It's just amazing how just a few little things can make your whole place look trashed. But this really didn't even take me that long. And there's my son Mason trying to help. He was having a moment with this blanket. He couldn't quite figure out what I wanted him to do with it, but we got it. 
He got it. So I didn't wash these curtains before I folded them up and put them back in the bag. And the reason is, is I know that I will wash them when I pull them out of the bag. And if there had been something on it or something gross, then I wouldn't have put them, put them straight back in there. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things I never understood. You wash your clothes before you store them up before the winter. And then when you pull them out, you wash them again. So it just seemed like a waste to me. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. Some reason I should be doing it, but... They were just curtains, and who knows how long they'll sit in my closet for. I didn't mean to like store that I store dirty clothes. My clothes, if I store them, they're always clean, so that's not what I meant. Not like store dirty clothes. I was just talking about these curtains specifically. Like, I know some people take stuff out even when it's clean and then wash it and then store it and then they'll pull it out of storage again and then they'll wash it, and that, that's just that's what I'm talking about. So there is my clean and tidy living room. I don't think it stayed that way for very long, but at least I have it on film that it was clean, right? Okay, so on to my bedroom. I took my duvet cover off and I forgot how much like I love this comforter. And then I realized like looking at the bottom, it's got paint and stuff on it. I guess Joe had brought something in there and laid it on there. But you know, I'm all excited to say that I learned something from one of my subscribers. I did not know that you were supposed to lay your sheets down, like pattern size down. So I guess you can fold it back over the top and the pattern shows and it's real pretty. But I thought that was super neat and I didn't do it in this video, but I will at some point. As suave as that looked on camera, my curtain came completely off when I went to pull it out. I'm getting ready to do a read uh, makeover on that wall for y'all here in a couple weeks after Christmas. I've got some pretty neat ideas, but I've got these really cheap curtain rods that are up there and they fall off super easy. And like I said before, I have a double wide, so you know, the walls are super thin. Okay, this is embarrassing, but I figured this is the stuff that y'all want to see. I have not cleaned this fan in obviously a long time, and it looks even worse because I painted it. This used to be in my daughter's room, and it was like this butterfly lamp and she, or butterfly fan, and she, you know, outgrew that type of style. But it was a really expensive, nice lamp or fan, so I figured I'd just go ahead and redo it. So that's, you know, if it looks like it was a DIY, that's because it was. So, instead of taking a vacuum cleaner, because it seems like it really doesn't work for me anyway, I just took a microfiber cloth and then sprayed it with some of that pledge and then did it that way so, you know, it would collect the dust easier instead of flying everywhere. I did have some chunks that fell onto my bed that I had to clean up. But this, you guys, it's been a while since I've cleaned it. My fan had been on, you know, all summer, so it never stopped spinning around so I didn't really realize how dirty it was until winter came and oh it was awful but I got it all cleaned up got the lamps and everything else and then you know the final touch for your bedroom is that nice smell my husband doesn't like pumpkin pie spice smells and I do so I went ahead and sprayed it before he got home so he wouldn't the smell would be long gone then here's my kitchen this is a catch-all, and I have to do this just about every day. I usually start on sec certain sections, and it's just, I don't know, it helps with my attention span. Like, my first goal will be, okay, well, I'm going to get this counter completely cleared off, and then I'll move to something else. So that way I can just focus on this instead of, you know, looking at something else and trying to do that. I'm like, nope, 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 just this counter, just this counter. So, I get my tarts from Walmart. Love them. This pumpkin cider one's my favorite right now. It's, uh, my husband doesn't mind it too bad either. But it is really hard to find scents like candles and tarts that'll really fill my house because it's so, it's just so big, I guess. And I left my spray bottle at that, in my bathroom, at my bathroom clean that I did, which is fine. But I ended up buying a cheap little plastic bottle to put some penhalin in and oh, I miss my Grove glass bottles. 
My question for y'all is what kind of methods do you use to clean your house with? What helps with y'all? Do you do a timer, which I do 10 minute timers sometimes. Well, I do it a lot of times for really whatever I do, but how do you keep yourself on track for to complete a project? And as y'all can see, I do mine in sections and then, you know, stuff, but I'm always really curious to see what works for people, you know, kind of make your own things and whatnot because everyone's different and you can't expect the same system to work for everybody. I know with my attention span, I got to trick myself and everything else. I have this thing with my water. I hate to waste water, but there are a lot of my dishes that I run. I don't, I don't like to fill up my sink and do it that way. And obviously I've got a double sink, so I couldn't do it anyway. There'd be no way to rinse my dishes. But like I will let the hot water fill up into like a cup or a bowl that needs like pre-rinsed and stuff. And then I'll wash over the others, you know, wash over it with the, whatever cup I'm washing, I'll wash over that bowl with the dish liquid. So it kind of soaks and does all that. Y'all do anything weird like that? I mean, it's not really weird. It just, I feel like that way I'm using the water and I'm using all the soap that I can. Even though I do rewash the dish that had the soap run into it, it's not like I count on that extra or rinsed off soap to work. So I was trying a new angle for y'all cleaning my stove. This is a half reared clean stove. As you can see when I'm finished, I didn't do as good of a job as I normally do because I knew I was gonna have to cook. But look at those white lines. Ooh. And y'all know you gotta light a candle, set the mood. I don't know what I'm setting the mood for. I guess I'm setting the mood to cook. <laughs> Hunger should set that mood, but. And y'all, here's my laundry room, right back to where it was. Those are all clean clothes, too. I guess somebody was looking for something. Laundry, it's the never ending story. I'm not singing that theme for y'all. Maybe I will one day. And of course, I've got more laundry. Oh my goodness, y'all. I found these Arm & Hammer crystals, whatever you call them, the beads to put in your, the scent beads. And this one, I think it's Wildflowers, is probably the best smelling one I have used. And my clothes, if you don't like strong scents, I wouldn't recommend it. But my clothes still smell like that a couple days later. And it's like, it smells like I've got that Elizabeth Arden sunflower perfume. Oh my goodness, which that's my favorite scent. But thank you all again so much for watching my videos. It absolutely means the world to me that you take the time out of your day to watch them. I hope to see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. Bye.